So one of my short video went viral last year on a different platform. A lot of you have asked me to make a full video for the recipe. That's the pineapple, turmeric, and ginger sauerkraut. Uh, so today I'm gonna make a full batch, which is four quarts. If you want to make a smaller portion, feel free to scale it down and prorate your ingredients. Let's start. So first I'm gonna cut cabbage. I like to use these flat green cabbage. You can also use those regular round kind. Uh, they're more or less the same. I personally prefer the flat kind because I find them slightly juicier. I usually get them at Asian supermarket or my local farmer's market. They're called Taiwanese cabbage or flat cabbage. They're all the same. I'll quickly trim the cabbage to remove any bruised parts on the outside, split the cabbage in half, remove the core, and then cut the cabbage into very thin slices. If you're a beginner at fermenting vegetables, I highly recommend being precise with your measurement. Once you're experienced, you can ferment by taste test. But for now, let's stick to the exact recipe. To make 4 quarts of sauerkraut, you will need 8 pounds of produce. Because we're making the pineapple sauerkraut today, we'll use 8 pounds of cabbage and pineapple combined. First, let's measure out 5.5 pounds of shredded cabbage. Because this is a lot of cabbage to fit into one bowl, I'm dividing the shredded cabbage up into a bowl of 3.5 pounds and a bowl of 2 pounds. Next, we need to add a total of 4 tablespoons of salt into the cabbage. I'm roughly dividing the salt into two bowls, proportional to the amount of cabbage in each bowl. But the salt to cabbage ratio doesn't need to be perfectly accurate here, because we'll mix the cabbage together at a later time. Toss the salt and cabbage together by hands, and let them sit for a few hours to half a day. The salt will draw the moisture from the cabbage. Now that the cabbage has shrunk in volume significantly, I can combine the cabbage into one bowl. I'm keeping all of the cabbage juice and give the cabbage a quick mix to make sure the salt is evenly distributed. To make up a total of 8 pounds of produce, we'll need to add 2.5 pounds of pineapple. Here I'm referring to pineapple flesh, not including the peel and the core, so let's remove all of them first. I use a small paring knife to remove the ice individually to minimize waste, then cut the pineapple into small chunks that can be easily mixed into the cabbage. This sweet and delicious pineapple sauerkraut is very popular because it is anti-inflammatory and probiotic. I hope the video provides a good visual for how to make the recipe, but don't worry if you can't remember all of the steps. I have the full instruction on my website, yangsnourishingkitchen.com. I'll leave a link to the printable version of the recipe in the description below. Next, let's add 2 tablespoons of turmeric and 4 tablespoons of freshly grated ginger into the cabbage bowl. Give it a good massage so that everything is evenly mixed. The black pepper is optional, but it does help to improve curcumin absorption when combining black pepper and turmeric together. Alternatively, you can eat the sauerkraut with other dishes containing black pepper. Mix the pineapple with the cabbage and make sure to add in all the pineapple juice because we'll need as much liquid in the brine as we can get to cover the sauerkraut later. At this point, we're going to transfer our sauerkraut into the fermentation vessel. Even if you haven't spent money buying any special fermentation equipment, you can still make this recipe. I just use any glass jar I have at home. Uh, you can use something big uh, like this, but I personally prefer a smaller jar because it's easier for storage. Once the fermentation is done, I just pop them right into the fridge. I do have a second fridge where I store my extra fermented uh, vegetables and when I want to eat them, I just take one jar out at a time. And that's really convenient. If you recall from earlier for the entire batch, I use 4 tablespoons of salt and a total of 8 pounds of cabbage and pineapple combined. I divide the mixture up into 4 quart sized glass jars. If you're making a smaller portion of the recipe, this is a good reference to have. For each 1 liter of sauerkraut, you need 2 pounds of produce and 1 tablespoon of salt. Press the sauerkraut down under the brine and leave an inch or two headspace for expansion. Close the lid loosely so that the pressure can escape. I place a large plate under the jar in case of overflows. The first couple weeks of fermentation is the most active period. Within one to three days, you should see air bubbles pushing the sauerkraut out of the jars. Check on them regularly and press on the sauerkraut to keep the solid under the brine. Once the fermentation activity slows down, I move the jars out of the way and keep them in a the dark cool place. Let the sauerkraut continue to ferment for a total of four to six weeks at a minimum. Then you can transfer them to cold storage, such as a fridge or cellar to stop fermentation. 
For printable recipes, search pineapple sauerkraut on yangsnourishingkitchen.com.